Thank you for tuning in to the Marlon by Mashu Wig Boutique channel. This video is going to be pretty much about um, toppers. Um, I have a lot of women lately that have been walking into the store because they're experiencing some cranial hair loss. I mean, you can have hair loss for alopecia at any part of your body. It doesn't, I mean, any part of your head. It doesn't um, discriminate in terms of where you'll have the hair loss. So some people have it at the top, some people have it at the back, and some people have it all over. So they did make some pieces that you can use, and this is a topper. They come in a lot of different um, colors and styles. I'm just going to show you a few of them. This is one of the straighter ones. This one just happens to be synthetic. I do have these in the store in Human. And basically, this one has a skin top. And what you would do is, where you're experiencing the hair loss in the front of your head, this is what you would put there. It has clips. I've augmented a few of them um, for some customers where I put more clips around so that they have clips that they can actually clip to their head. And it gives them a little bit more security. So this is one of the different things that you can use. They also come curly. So this is a curly one. Well, should I say this is more of a wavy one. Um, this one just happens to be in a salt and pepper color. Um, but this is something that you would wear on the top of your head. If you have hair, like in the front, then you can wear it a little bit further back. But basically, this is something you would wear when you have thinning. So tell those ladies that um, you may know that there is a solution to their thinness. I have a lot of people combing their hair all different kinds of ways to try to camouflage where they're thinning or where you can actually see their scalp. And you can actually use something like this. Uh... A couple of different companies make different things. I'm going to show you another thing. This one takes up a little bit more of your head, and it gives you more of a mound or your crown, so it molds onto your head more. Um, this one is, a, again, in a little wavy color. This one happens to be a Raquel uh, volumizer. This one we call Sonata, and it's in a honey blonde. But basically... This will also do the trick. It depends on what you're trying to cover um, and how you're trying to cover it. They also come in human, and I'm going to bring out a human one. Um, a lot of the ladies, uh, some of the ladies like the human ones because they have a little bit more versatility with it. They can wear it straight or they have the ability to curl it. This is another one of those ones that I augmented. And I've even, if you don't need as much hair, you can also cut away some of these tracks because everything on here is weft on. There's like a weft of hair. I don't know if I can show you that. Probably can't. But sometimes I've even cut these down a bit so that um, the person who doesn't need as much has the ability to just have this little part here. They come with clips inside. These are the clips. I don't know if you can see them. And some of them have combs like this, but you can change everything to clips. This one, again, is one that you can uh, curl. Remember, with all human hair, you must condition. Conditioning is very important. Um, so this is something that you could wear um, straight. It, it goes into your hair so well, and maybe I'll do some demonstrations on how that actually happens um, when I get a customer that's willing to uh, go in front of the camera. Um, and again, you can get them in human. Uh, the human ones can be dyed. So if I have one like this, this happens to be a number four, which mimics like a brown color. You could always color this. All right. So don't feel like you're limited by the one that they have in the store. You can always, another thing is sometimes it's better to color these when you're coloring your hair so that you have a better chance of getting to the right color. All right. Or have them professionally done. It's totally up to you. Now, like I said, these uh, hair pieces come in lots and lots of colors. This is another one that I happen to have. Some of the shapes are a little bit different depending on where, how much baldness you have. So this one, and they have ones that are longer and they lay longer in the back of your head. Again, this one has the clips. This one is a synthetic one. But look, it's a blonde hair. This is what you wear as a fuller when you have nothing on the top. Um, you can also wear these further back on your head when you have nothing on the back. All right. It's depending on where your hair loss is. 
They come in so many colors, and now I'm going to show you a salt and pepper one. This one is more salt than pepper, but again, these are the curly, uh, this is, happens to be a curly one. Now, another thing that they do have is what we call a honeycomb, and this is that shape in here where you see what looks like a honeycomb, like if you were in a beehive, this is what you would have inside. These are used also when you want to bring some of your hair through. And there's a special tool that you can buy, but I'm sure you can use a comb or something. And you would just bring your hair up through here. So then some of your hair will be coming up and some of this hair piece will be coming up. And um, a lot of the hairstylists will do this and pin them onto your head. Um, they're very, very nice, and um, I think more people than we know are probably wearing them. Then I have some more. They get smaller. This one happens to be a little bit smaller. I'm Like I said, they're all based on how much hair loss you actually have. So this one is not as big. You see that this, this area here is a lot smaller. But some of the synthetic pieces are just as good as the human pieces. Just remember that with the human pieces, you can do more in terms of um, uh, curling it, blow drying it, conditioning it, uh, uh, able to, you know, keep it up to date with your hair. The synthetic ones are just fine. Um, it depends on your use, how much you're going to wear it, how often you wear it. You know, who's actually doing your hair? Is it you? I don't want to, I don't knock any um, of these pieces. This is another one that's curly. This is a brown one. Um, like I said, this one has more of an area, like more of a dome shape. See, so I'm trying to show you the inside. You see, it's a dome shape. Um, like I said, you can get them in human or, or synthetic. This one happens to be a synthetic one. And this is for somebody that has curly hair, but just doesn't have the fillness on the top. All right, um, I don't know if I'll, I'll show you a couple more colors. This is another one in that light 27 color or 30 color, curly. Um, this one is not human. This is synthetic. Uh, more and more, you, I'm learning more about what you can do with synthetic. It's not very limiting. Um, it's just the care, you know, cold water. But this is still a nice little piece. This one also has the honeycomb underneath. So like someone that had hair color, this could actually bring their whole own hair through. Um, you can, like I said, you can put them on with combs. Some of my ladies even use bobby pins to put these in. Um, it's not that serious. Or you can just buy clips and clip it into where you have a lot of hair. All right. So people, if you have mothers or mother-in-laws or whoever it is experienced some hair loss, and, you know, sometimes these same people are getting upset about the way they look. And it's very depressing when you don't have your hair looking the way that you want it to. Um, here's another salt and pepper one, again, with the honeycomb inside. This one is a bigger dome. You can always cut these a little bit. I mean, you have to be a little more adventurous, and I have cut them. Um, maybe you don't need such a big piece. You can cut them. Can really make it to your to your own liking. Um, this I always just think of this stuff as a piece of material. So do what you wish. You know, if you need it to be cut, you just cut it. Don't be so afraid. And again, this is the curly one. If I um if I wet this and and I um, combed it while it was wet, I could make this same piece straight. But it's a nice piece, a nice nice soft uh, salt and pepper color. All right. I can go through this box. I have some more. I also have this one. This is a cute little one for somebody that has curls. But this also can be worn as a ponytail. So it has the ability to be pulled up into a little bun, which I think is so cute. But also, it just kind of looks like little pin curls. And you could wear it like this, or you can curl it up on your bun. They're little pin curls, and they're really, really cute. So that's my... Uh, my whole piece on toppers. Um, we call them toppers, wiglets, crown volumizers. Um, I said wiglets, but they're like little pieces that you can put on so that you don't have to have the hair loss. All right. 
if anybody needs to know more about this video, feel free to contact me. I also have some wigs and things on my Facebook page, so please tune in to Marlon by Michu Wig Boutique and check out my albums. And thank you for tuning in to Marlon by Michu. I also have a website, MarlonByMichu.com. Thank you. Bye.